Oh, there's Mike in the room, mate. Oi, you're on my space. Stay to your side of the desk, oh, thanks, mate. Come Jeez. On. It's my desk. You're gonna mess things up. My desk. Hey guys, welcome to Alive Youth Back to School edition. So good. How good to be back oh, to school. I love it. I miss it actually. Miss in the in the uniform. Mm -hmm. My uniform's so small. I, <laughs> I was such a midget during school. It's crazy. Hanging out with mates and you know just enjoying a good yeah, time. Yeah. And uh, we're celebrating that because on Monday we know the preps, the great ones, mm -hmm. and the great elevens and the great twelves head back. Of them. Yeah. Um, you guys are heading back to school, which is so exciting. But not just that, we know all of you guys are possibly heading back on the 25th, mm. which is pretty cool. Yeah. So we want to celebrate that. We want to have some fun uh, today as we hang out. Um, but it's going to be a good time. Hey? It's going to be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to have a drawing competition. Yeah. That's going to happen throughout the night. Mm -hmm. um, I'm going to do a portrait um, of Kurt. He's going to do a portrait of me. Yeah. And then you guys at home can just let us know, you know, who's the better drawer. How are your drawing skills? They're right. <laughs> They have to scratch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't probably drawn in about 10 years, but I did take art class um, at Oof, school. Yeah. I didn't, so you got the one up on it. Manual college, art class. Mm. Um, I wasn't, wasn't too bad. Actually, it was terrible. But, but we've also got a spelling bee, which is directly down my weakness. Yeah, um, you suck at spelling. I'm probably the worst speller that you know. Um, but I reckon it's probably time, you know, for first break. Yeah. And yep. so we're going to head off to first break, get something to eat. Um, but while we do that, let's listen to some worship. Let's do it. Is that All the right. bell? That's the bell. Let's do it. Let's go. Is it love? If it was, am I living it? What? Do I live in it? Yeah. So astounding. 
Love is an ocean, you can drown me The sweet embrace, the lovely taste, I taste the sea I'm under grace, the place to be It means I'll never need an umbrella I'm cool in the cold, in the hot weather Whether or never I ever Understand I'm a man in the hands of great plans I stand with faith there in the life I never known to touch And still I saw my clutch, but I'm like, what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? Live to no end, this is living The life I've been given's a gift If I'm a living, I'ma live it to death So what's the dream of? What's the hope in? What's the doubt for? And live to no end, this is living The life I've been given's a gift If I'm a living, I'ma live it to death This chair is so small. Uh, hey, welcome back to a live youth back to school edition. We're so excited you guys could join us tonight. Um, so we talked about before, we're going to do a portrait of each other throughout the night. You guys are going to judge whether you like it or, or you don't, or who, who the winner is really. Because yeah. you're going to like them both. Um, of but course. why don't we give them a quick sneak peek of what we've done so I like, far. I like the sound of that. And, um, and then we'll, you know, we'll keep on going. So don't look. Oh, oh. So this is me just starting off. Now, pretty, pretty similar, if you ask me. <laughs> pretty similar. It better um, be. I'm expecting big yeah, pressure. I, art class, art class 2008. Yeah, don't write it off yet. I think it's gonna, it's gonna go. I think my, yeah, my manual art teacher would have been very impressed with that. Mm. So, could you want to, you know, show? Oh, show I'd love to. Off? You guys are gonna be blown away by this. Don't look, please. All right, please. Right, right. Here we go. This is my um, portrait of Sir Adam Penman. Really tried to harness um, the outline of his jaw here. Um, Just I, remember mine. I did. I did focus on the ear a little bit. You can see the uh, incredible detail here, as well as the eyes. Um, working on the shape of the nose at the moment, but it's it's looking great. Yeah. So far, so they're in for a real treat. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, look, it's pretty easy who's going to win this. Um, oh, yeah, but we'll, we'll let the people. Me. We'll let the people yeah, decide. That's right. Uh, Pat, hey, this week, the live antics, we had some fun, um, Great fun. made some videos, Great fun. you guys made some videos for us, uh, which was awesome, we put them all together, but can you explain to us what that looked like? Oh, I'd love to. So last week for a live antics, ads, we, uh, we had the privilege of doing a little dance party, a little dance train, oh. um, as some call it, and so what we did is we had one um, youth person, they did the first dance, sent it off to their friend, and then they, they copied that dance and yeah. then added their own. And we just followed it up, person after person after person, and by the end of it, we had a train. A train of the live youth dancers, and it so was good. awesome. It looked pretty cool. Yeah, it's awesome. So, while, while we turned our eyes to the screen now, and look what you guys created um, as an incredible masterpiece. Mm. Let's have a look now. Stuck at home, you guys can still you still got a rhythm, can you? Are you alright there with the, <laughs> with, the, with the shake? Oh, got, can you can you stop it? Alright, so but hey, this week we've got something even better, more exciting. A live antics. A live antics. About. Yeah. Um, can you explain to us what that looks yeah, like? Let's have a chat. Um, this week for a live antics we've got the before and after photo challenge. Pretty good. Which sounds exciting. Yeah. I know I'm buzzing just hearing hearing the name. But, so what we're going to do is we're going to have you guys start a project at home. It could be baking some brownies, it could be um, knitting oh. a scarf, could be, I don't know, who knows, uh, making your own plant box. 
Yeah. That making option. a rocket. Options and making a rocket. I love it. Yeah. Or a go kart. Recreate go kart night yeah. that we had in term one and term two. Yeah. Uh, not term two because we're in term two now. Term two. But yeah. moving on. So before and after photo challenge. What we want you guys to do is take a photo. Uh, before, obviously, it's pretty self-explanatory. Then do the project and send us a photo afterwards of what your uh, your marvelous creation looks like. Just send that photo to your leader. You can DM us, <laughs> DM it to us, <laughs> DM it, DM it to us on social media, and then uh, at the end of the week, we'll put them all together and we'll have a look at the creativity and the amazing projects you guys finished. Yeah. That's so good. But we actually have Zippy um, giving us an example now, don't we? Yeah, yeah, we've got a, a great example. Coming. Yeah, so we've got a few examples. Turn your eyes to the screen. This is what we guys we want you guys to do this week for live antics. So good. So we want to see you guys involved uh, and getting amongst that. Uh, the prize is something you do not want to miss out on. Um, so make sure you get involved, you jump on, you do your best. Uh, we want to see your projects, whatever it may be, start and finish. And uh, our prize this week, what's our prize? Well, as you decided it would be a good idea to stitch us both up, put us put us on, on the edge of the walk, the walking plank. Yeah. And the, the loser of this portrait competition has to give a 15 second wrap to you guys, the yeah. youth. So so whoever whoever um, you know wins this week for the live antics. Mm -hmm. Um, has the person that loses the portrait challenge tonight and they have to give a personal 15 second rap to that person video I don't like the sound of it at all I'm pretty confident with my portrait again remember guys you guys are voting on this um, you're gonna see the, the what you know the, the, the finished product tonight but then on social media you are gonna have to get on there and let us know who the winner is um, because there's gonna be a pretty pretty special rap coming your way but, very hey, before we keep on going, I think it's probably only, you know, fitting that we do a bit of a spelling bit. A spelling word, I'd say. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how are we going to do this? Well, I'm going to put it in the hat. No, it's in here. That's true. Good point. Yeah. Good point. Okay, you ready? Uh, oh, I just broke it. The first, the first spelling word is mosquito. Oh, that's big. That's big. Go. M O S Q U I T O. Take that, English teacher. You see I that racing Go right on, now. go on. I really hope you get a hard one. All right, ready? Rhythm. This get, this word gets oh. <laughs> rhythm. Oh, you're not going to get this. There's no way you'll get this. Ah. Uh, yeah. Why? R T H. <laughs> it's not R Y. No. T H N. No. You missed a letter. Ten seconds. Nine. What? Eight. Seven. Six. R Y. <laughs> oh no! It's R Y. <laughs> what is it? Ah, uh, H T. Ah, oh, why would rhythm have a? I just wrote that on the card. Oh, I'm ashamed of myself. Oh, all right. Look, I lived up to my name. So but, do you have to do a 15 second rap because that. No, 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 no. That's just some. You know, it's just fun. But what we did have, you know, that wasn't terrible. That was terrible. That what was wasn't horrible. terrible. Mm. Was our. Um, Highlights this week. Good segue. So we had a really good highlights happening. Let's have a look at that. Let's do it. Uh, it was awesome. Hey everyone, hope you're all well. I'm just going to read a few verses and say something which will hopefully encourage you on your day. So Romans 21 and on, it says, Does not the potter have a right over the clay to make from the same lump one vessel for honourable use and the other and the other for common use? What if God, although willing to demonstrate his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much patience vessels of wrath prepared for destruction? And he did so to make known the riches of his glory upon vessels of mercy, which he prepared beforehand for glory. Um, so just that verse 23 at the end there. He did so, he prepared these vessels of wrath, 
to make known the riches of his glory to vessels of mercy, which he prepared beforehand for glory. So if you are in Christ um, and you call yourself a Christian and you have faith in Christ, um, my encouragement to you is that um, the picture is not just all about us um, and our salvation, but much rather it's about that we are given the ability to see God's glory. Um, Now, in Christ and in the future, we will get to see the full glory of God and the riches of that glory. So I hope that's encouraging. Um, Have a good night and a good day tomorrow. How good was that? That's awesome. Tay, really good. Tay, thank you so much for uh, jumping on that and and just you know giving us an encouragement and a word. And we're just so excited for all of you guys that have been opening your Bibles, been reading the Word of God. There is there is no really better place for us to be than uh, just uh, sitting in God's Word and receiving that life. Mm, um, For sure. But again, yeah, round two. Here we go. Okay. Um Fena Nua Kona Tranamonic Cross Upper Tocket of Vol Kona Vanosis. Now you're probably wondering so, what is that yeah, word? Do you mind repeating that one so for me? let me just play it out just, for you. Just you ready? Me the... You ready? Yeah, I'll, I'll play it one more time and then you've got is to there, is there a slow motion. So at the moment you're on one, I'm on zero. You ready? How many how many replays do I get? Okay, can I have five replays? But not yet. yet. You got one more. One more, you're yeah. dreaming. Ready? Man. I didn't even hear okay, that. Okay, you ready? I'm ready. gonna get a start. Set, go. So being a, a paramedicine student, yeah. I think she said pneumo at the start, which I know is spelled P-N-E-U-M-O. Yep, you're right. Do you wanna hear it again? I'd love it, because I don't okay. know what okay. comes after that. See, I just want I just want to put it out there that she sucks at speaking. She she can't even pronounce the word um, herself. And she's trying to teach me. Is there it, is a button that says outrage. wrong pronunciation. You could you could probably click that later. I might. I might say But right that. now you've spelled the, the first letter, part right. The letter the next that comes one. after the the new mo mm. has it's just gotta be a, a an N. Yep. Yeah. N E. Yeah, you've done that. Cook the goose. Yeah, that's done. <laughs> How so, close was I? Nah, you know, close. So let me let me. It's P N E U M O N O U L T R A M I C R O S C O P I C S I L I C O V O L C A N O N O O C O N L O S I S. Easy as that. Yeah, this is easy as that. Now um, one 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 one. Did you actually? Um, did you expect me to get oh, that at all? Oh, I think it's one zero. So you've got to you know pull one out of there. Gonna be big. This is gonna be a big one. This is gonna be a massive one. What's this? Oh, you are so screwed. All right. Yeah. What is it? You better better start running for the hills, my friend. All right. So this is a word that. Look, you probably learn it in prep. I'm not gonna lie to you. So those heading back um, to prep, if any of the, any of you are watching are in prep, don't, you will don't shortchange it. You will probably uh, know this word or learn it sometime this year. But add, seeing as though you're a 27 year old who's not a great speller, <laughs> yeah. you might have some difficulty with this. It's a three letter word, a big three letter, one vowel, two consonants. Okay. And you are currently wearing this piece of clothing. It starts with the. Oh, I was just about to tell you how it starts, but. To spelling me, so Can you put it in a sentence? Stupid. Yeah, sentence. sentence. Um, so, there was once a young boy playing outside yeah. and on his head laid a hat. So what's the word? <laughs> <laughs> you actually just put the sentence in the word. Hat. Wow, okay. Hat. Um, okay. Did you, did you need the, um, the Latin word? Yeah, Latin word. Hat, um, hatchery. Oh, Alright, hatchery. Hatchery. Alright, um, H. Good start. Yeah. A. Yeah. You might struggle with this last one. It throws L- literal ones. sweat. <laughs> Chill. Yeah, you got it. Hat. Okay, that's, that's, it's like saying mum, my dad. That's, that's one, one. So we yeah. haven't made it there yet, but we're getting there. But, um, before we go any further, I think we give people just a little bit of a 
Mm. Uh, just like a little few. Yeah. Before we finish off the product. I just want to say to you, ads, like, don't be disheartened yeah. when the votes come my way. <laughs> you're going you're gonna to do a wrap, dude. <laughs> Alright, here we go. So don't, don't, look. don't look. So this, this is him so far. Just look at it and then look back. Pretty similar. Yeah. yeah. Okay, your turn. Um, so this is there's still a bit of work going on in this um, in this art piece, but really I've just tried to harness um, the hat, the hat and the hair, the hairline or the receding hairline, <laughs> as well as the beard. But it's looking pretty good so far. I look forward to um, to receiving your vote at home. We'll just put it in on the chat. Jeez, on this, the is just chat. this is just embarrassing for you. Yeah. This is so embarrassing. I was thinking for the same, you. but embarrassing for you. Oh right. So okay. We seem well, to be yeah contra. Con I don't know what I'm doing. We need probably more spelling. More spelling, you. clearly. Yeah, I, <laughs> thought, right. I thought you were better. Alright, let's turn our eyes to the screen. We're going to watch uh, the time for the sermon now. And so get your Bibles, get your pens, um, get with your life group, everything that's going on, and make sure you're tuning in for this next 10 minutes as we uh, hear the Word of God. Let's do that now. Awesome. How you going, youth? I hope you guys are well and uh, yeah, you're having a good week. We're going to open the Word of God today, which I'm so excited that we can do that. And we're going to go through a series um, that we're going through a church called Good Questions. Um, and so let me pray, and then we'll open God's Word together. Father, I just thank you that we can open your Word today. Uh, I thank you that, Lord, it is life-giving. And I pray, Lord, that you would just meet us uh, in this time. You would speak to us. You would make us more like you. And for those that don't know you yet, Lord, um, that, that you would just uh, reveal yourself in a real personal and powerful way. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So, we're in this series called Good Questions. And this, the question we're going to look at tonight was from a man, um, was, was about a man named Peter. And Jesus said to him, why did you doubt? Now, as I think of this question, it reminds me of a story. Um, it's the time that Tegan and I, my wife, went skydiving. And, you know, you get excited and you get down. We went to Byron Bay, you know, we did the sunrise thing. Really exciting. You get down there and uh, you're met and they give you, I guess, a really like, I don't know, really, really quick training. It's pretty, you know, it seems pretty dodgy of jumping out of a plane um, with that much training. But they get ready, they suit you up and they, you get in a plane and you're in this like little tin can, like it's the oldest thing plane ever. You wonder how it even drives. And it, and it sort of just flies up and up and up and up to 14,000 feet. And you're pretty worried this time because you've got sort of like these instructors and that a lot of them are backpackers or you know uh, are sort of tourists or uh, you, you just feel a little unsafe all right it's a little bit of a brown mo brown undie moment going on and so um, but here's the thing you've got them strapped to your back and so your your whole your life um, is really in their hands and whether you survive that moment uh, in time is totally up to whether that guy on your back um, actually does the right thing and um, you know pulls the shoot and the, 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 you know, the, the, the colors go, you go and you get the green light and off the plane you go, 14,000 feet, 60 second free fall. It is insane. But man, was I worried and did I doubt that this guy on my back was actually going to save me. My whole life was in his hands. I completely had to let go and I had to trust him. And, and the reality was, it was okay, right? I, I didn't die. Tegan is still alive, um, but the doubt was real. And you see, you may have not have doubted like I did, you know, when I was going skydiving, but I wonder if you've ever had a moment of doubt in your life. It could be um, maybe you, you doubt if you're going to pass this assignment or this test. I know you're online, you know, so it could be anything like that. It could be, you know, can I um, trust my friends? Um, with this secret or, you know, um, with, you know, staying by my side? Can I trust my family? Maybe it's a doubt about, you know, whether, um, maybe it's got to do, can I trust the Bible? You know, is God real? Um, you know, can, can I trust Him in this moment of, of COVID-19? I, I wonder if you have ever had a moment of doubt or maybe you're doubting today. Right now, we're going to look uh, at a passage in the Bible of a man that had doubts like you and I. So if you've got your Bibles, open them up to Matthew chapter 14. 
And so in this moment, what happens is Jesus has is, sent his disciples away on the boat and he's spending time with the Father. And then he goes to meet them. And there's this crazy storm. Why don't we uh, read that now? Verse 23. Later that evening, he was there alone. And the boat was already a considerable distance from the land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them, walking on the lake. When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage, it is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, Peter replied, Tell me to come to you on the water. Come, he said. Then Peter got out of the boat, walked on water, and came towards Jesus. But when, we saw, when he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sing, cried out, Lord, save me. Immediately Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. He says, You are little faith. He said, Why did you doubt? And when he, they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those who were, um, were in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. What a powerful picture that this paints, right? They're in this storm, and then, then Jesus uh, is walking on water. And, and these, these are, are, are like a, a, a fishermen. They're used to storms. But this was a crazy storm. And they see Jesus just walking on water out there. And Peter, in faith, he's like, Hey, hey Jesus, if that's you, call me out. And he goes. And, and as he's going, the storm's all around him. He, he, turns, he turns his attention away and he begins to sink. And Jesus replies, why did you doubt? You see, when we look at doubt, what is doubt? You see, a really simple working definition for doubt is uh, it's to be uncertain about something. It's to be undecided in opinion or belief. You see, something important about doubt is just because we doubt, it doesn't mean we still don't have a faith. You see, see, Peter stepped off the boat, which it was an incredible amount of faith, yet at the same time, he entertained this picture of doubt. You see, doubt is not the opposite of faith, nor is doubt the same as unbelief. I believe that doubt is a suspension between the two. Now, it's not fully, um, you know, one of them, but I believe that it has partially, you know, both of them in it. It's this place we are undecided and uncertain about something. I wonder what you doubt. You see, doubt is a normal thing to have if you're a Christian. It's a normal thing to have if you are a non-Christian. You see, when we look at the pages of the Bible in here, we see account after account of faith-filled people with doubts. They do. They, they have moments where they doubt God. But what we're going to learn is, yes, doubt can create a space that can get us into trouble, but Jesus meets us in our doubt. And so here's what I love when I think of doubt. Doubt is... Is, uh, is not something that we need to be afraid of, but it's simply the gap between our current faith and our future faith. Doubt is, let me say that, doubt is not something to fear, but it's something from our current faith. It's a gap between our current faith and our future faith. Doubt is actually an opportunity when we address it and respond to it well for us to grow in our faith. And so let me read you this. Philip Yancey says this in his book, Reaching for an Invisible God. He says, Doubt is the skeleton in the closet of faith. And I know no better way to, to, uh, way to treat a skeleton than to bring it into the open and expose it for what it is. Not something to hide or fear, but a structure, a hard structure in which living tissue may grow. You see, in the Christian community, um, we can make doubt out to be the enemy. But what if... As much as we can see it as an obstacle, what if it's an opportunity for us to grow deeper with God? I wonder what you doubt. You see, the most important thing next is our response to doubt. Let's have a look what Peter does. Peter, in a moment of doubt, he actually takes his eyes off Jesus and he puts them on himself. In a moment of doubt, Peter takes his eyes 
of God and puts it onto himself. And my question for you today is, you know, as, as doubt reaches us all, as we are all going to be, you know, people that from one time or another, we're going to doubt. What do you do with doubt? As doubt reaches you, what is your response? You see, for Peter, the moment that he looked to himself, the moment he looked to his own response, he began to sink. In the same way, when we walk through this life, in the, in the days that we have doubt, the moments that are hard in our life, the storms that come in, the moment we turn our eyes from Jesus and onto ourselves, onto the storm, we will begin to sink. But here's what I love. And this is what the last thing I want to finish up really quickly is this. Peter's response in this was to look at the storm. His response was doubt, right? But in his place of doubt, he cries out. He says, save me. And I love that. I love that. It wasn't this eloquent speech. It wasn't this crazy you know, message. He just called out to Jesus and he says, save me. And you see, while Peter's response to doubt was, you know, to look at the storm, to look at himself, to look away from Jesus, Jesus' response to doubt was immediately to, t to pick up Peter from where he was sinking and to take care of him. You see, Jesus' response to doubt, Jesus, isn't, Jesus response to doubt is to actually meet us in our doubt and to, and to actually lead us out of it. I love that. I love that God is not afraid of our doubt, but God is greater than our doubt. And it's in moments of our doubt that Jesus meets us and he helps us when we need it. And so let me leave you with this as we go to life group time now. What is it that you doubt? And as you doubt in life, what is your response to doubt? Do you look to Jesus or do you look to the storm? Do you look to the problem that's in your life? And if you're there today and you feel like you are sinking in doubt, that you're not sure if Jesus is real, if you're not sure you can trust your family or friends, if you're not sure what's going on in your life, I want to encourage you right now, you can look to Jesus for help. Let me pray for you and then we'll finish up. Father, I just thank you. You are good and gracious and kind. I thank you you are there and you love me. I pray, Father, that you would just be with us in this time. And for those that are struggling with doubt, Lord, that's nothing for them to fear or worry about because, God, you are bigger than doubt. And I just pray, Lord, for anything that they are not sure about, that you would just meet them in that moment, like you met Peter as he was sinking in the ocean. So, Father, I just thank you for this moment. Pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, enjoy the rest of the, the, uh, the app. Awesome. Welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed listening to that message. Adam, thank you so much for sharing that with us. It was amazing. Yeah, some uh, amazing words of wisdom that you just shared. And I, le I learned a lot from it. I hope you guys at home learned some from too. So again, thank you, Adam. But we have some things to talk about, don't we? Yeah, it's been a big ep. Big, I mean, um, big a lot of competition mm. going on. But, you know, like every competition, there has to be a winner. Yeah. Uh, and so we've got, you know, what, two more uh, words to spell. Yeah. Uh, there can only be one. If there's, if it's a draw, we're probably going to have to, I don't know what we're going to do. Maybe it has to carry on for next week or something. But cool. um, let's have, rock off. Let's have a look. Rock off. Yep. Okay. Hit me so, up. So how are you feeling? That's how are you feeling? Word wise. You feeling like you're going to be able to spell today? Uh, look, I'm down. You had a rusty start, didn't you? Well, yeah, rhythm really got rhythm. me. <laughs> That I was really out of rhythm. So I, age. Yeah, I see what you did there. That was good. Yeah. That was good. Um, so this word, yeah. it's got a few letters in it. Yeah. It's a it's a difficult one to spell, and I hope you're I hope you're ready to rumble. Yeah. Um, the word is jewelry. <laughs> jewelry. Jewelry. Um, so good yeah, luck. Okay. J. Yeah. Good start. Great start. E. Mm -hmm. W. Double L. Oh, that's good. That's what gets people. E R. Yeah. Why? That's big. That's yeah, big. Congrats, mate. On, well man. done. Well done. Yeah. Guys, give him a round of applause because yeah. that's big for Adam. He usually struggles with words, and he pulled off. He pulled off a big one there. Jewelry. Jewelry. There All right. Go. Hit me out. This is gonna be. This is gonna be. Um, Sorry. This is gonna be big. This is gonna be big. Okay. Um, just send out some prayers for me, guys. Here we go. This is the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. Phalange. Um, sorry, could you repeat that? Um, phalange. Can we use it in a sentence? Yeah, and the definition as well would be great. Um, <laughs> definition. <laughs> um, 
Um, in order to draw my portrait, mm. the portrait of you, I need to use my phalanges. <laughs> Is that even a thing? Yeah, you got it right. Yeah, I need right. to use my phalanges. Yes. Um, in other words, fingers. Yes. Um, yeah. And so, there you go. Well done, well done. I didn't think you'd be able to do it, but you got there. Um, all right, so, the real question is, does it start with a PH or does it start with an F? Um, uh, it gets real. Yeah, yeah, it, gets it could. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to lock in PH. Yeah, PH okay. 800. Correct. PH. Yeah. A. Yep. L. Yep. Full. A. A. Yep. N. N. Yep. G. Yep. E. It's a tie there. Thanks, guys. Right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, well, just big. you know, that's we got we got to finalise this. So, um, let's go for this is paper rock. Yeah, rock one, one, one and done. Yeah, yeah, one and done. Oh, Sorry. one and done. Yeah, just one and done. None of this. No, I'm not going to read. No, no, one and done. Gee, that puts me. All right. You ready? The edge of my seat. I'm ready. You ready? Are you, are you a hand underneath? Alright, I don't have to. I just, I'm, I'm not like... catching the crumbs, but alright, here we I go. Like the, the right, start, you know? So it's scissors, paper, rock, and then we do it? Yeah, of course. Okay, what right. else are you ready? Honestly, I hate the one, two, three okay. people. Like, okay, yeah, alright, are you ready? Yeah. Scissors, paper, rock. Ready? Scissors, paper, rock. Oh! oh. Hey, I'd just like to thank my mum, my dad. Um, um, I've made you proud. Spelling bee. Um, I, I never thought I was going to make it here, I but let we've done it. Down. Um, I let my down. I let my family down. You've let everyone down. I let everyone down. So the next thing um, is that hey, we just want to um, really encourage you guys as we're in this crazy season, as we're just really living our lives. We want to encourage you um, to just continue to pray. Um, be praying for your friends. Be praying for your family. But not just that. We would love to be praying for you. And so uh, if anyone's at home, they've got prayer requests. Um, they can send that in. So that can be as small as um, you know anything that could be going on at home. Could be school. Could be family. Could be what's going on with your parents. Maybe it could be job, job loss. Could be anything. Mm -hmm. We have a, a God that that listens to us and responds. And so we want to make sure we bring our requests uh, and our very selves towards Him uh, for His help. And so we want to do that on behalf of you guys. Um, and so if you have any prayer requests, please let us know. We'd love to be praying for you. Um, yep. But lastly, let's just quickly vote um, on who's got a better portrait. Well, they're just going to vote for me. Yeah, all right. Um, so, so there's probably not much point in doing this, but anyway, we'll just put you So out we're time. not going to know until you guys vote, but we're just going to initial well. voting on the side, uh, on the comments on the left. Just make sure you, you know, you just who's going to win, Kurt yeah. or Adam. And guys, I just want to put it out there too. I know Adam's drawing is, it's, it's pretty poor. Mine's amazing. So don't. <laughs> But don't feel like you have to vote for it. Yeah, I'm right. a little bit offended. We right. don't. Okay, you ready, none guys? This, none of this simple. Ready on three. Not One, two, three. Okay, just put them. Put Thanks, them guys. in the comments. Thank you very much. I appreciate just vote that. Adam. I yep. appreciate I've that. I've been streaming now. Adam, yeah, Adam, Adam. Kurt, Kurt, Kurt. Okay, the drawing. winner, the, the loser, awesome. has to do the rap next week. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Yep. Um, a personal, a personal rap to the winner of the live antics. Isn't that right? To a live antics. A live antics. Hey, we uh, hope you guys have an incredible week. There's a few things that they can do to stay connected. Mm, absolutely. So, guys, we've got an Instagram account, we've got a Facebook account. Go and follow us on both of those. If you want to have a chat to us, DM us on Instagram and we'd love to talk to you a little bit. Um, yeah. Also, we've got the Southport Church of Christ website yeah, where we you guys can keep up to date with everything that's going on around here in this incredible building. Um, and the incredible people that are a part of it. Also, we've got a Spotify account, don't we, Ed? <laughs> you got to get on the oh Spotify account. That thing's been flying under the radar for a little bit, but it's time that it took off. Oh, it's just waiting. You yeah, need to get on there yeah. because there is some epic music mm -hmm. uh, you can listen to all week from the moment yeah. you, 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 know, you wake up to even while you sleep, if you will. Well, why not? Why not? Have a are, you, are you a waterfall while you sleep kind of guy? Like you play the, the water flow? Oh, I don't mind the, the piano. Piano? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I haven't like listened it. to it a bit, but I was a real piano guy growing up. Yeah, no. Um, I like it. Hey, it's time probably we have you know a little bit of smoko, bit the of smoko, lunch, have good. something to eat. Yeah. Um, so well, I don't. I don't mean to brag, but my lunch is pretty good today. Mum hooked me up with the big guns. Yeah, right, yo. You ready? Okay. Yeah. I don't just have. Okay. I don't just have one Arnold's biscuit. Yeah. I got two. Wow. Look at that. Yeah. Two. Okay. Do you want to dip my potato and gravy? Nah, I'm not gonna let you do that. So, um, I've got you know, Zupa Dupa. Before you get ahead of yourself, Ed, yeah. um, can I just share with you yeah. 
a three quarters eaten packet of corn thins that my mum wow. so also hooked me up with. Wow. That is a bit, that's a big play. Um, I'm um, pretty block excited of, for this. Block of chocolate. We, we know, you know, we know who's loved you. Yeah, well, it's not me, is it? Um, uh, Zupa Doopers. Well, well, way to kick a guy off. I've got down. two Zupa Doopers. Um, I was thinking about sharing it with you, but after seeing what you got for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's all for today. We're so glad you guys could join us. Um, we'll see you next week. See you guys. Enjoy Take care. life group time right now as you hang out with your life group over Zoom. All right. God bless, guys. Take care.